On Stage America is proud to welcome to our stage, David Brenner. made it all worthwhile coming here from New York uh, to do this. Uh, that's where I live now, you know, in New York City. You know what New York is? I'll give you a good description. If you've ever been there, you get an idea of what it's like here. New York City is a beautiful woman standing on a street corner, holding a little baby in her arms, and a man standing next to her going, goo, 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 goo. And then the woman walks away, and the man's still there, goo, 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 goo. goo. Of course, you have your lunatics here. I met a loony at the airport. This is a loony. I looked at him. The man looked normal. I was in the baggage claim area here. You know what it's like here at the airport. I'm standing in the baggage claim. You've been there. And I'm waiting 45 minutes, and my suitcase doesn't come out. Only the handle. <laughs> and this lunatic starts arguing. It's his handle. The crazies out here are different. Well, this whole town is different. L.A. is different. And L.A., you know what it is about L.A.? They really work to be different. They have to try to be different. You know, other cities are just different. Like, I'll give you a good example of that. You know, all over America, the big thing now is Western bars. Every town in America has a Western bar. There are cowboys all over New England. There are. You know, where you're from? Stanford. Well, L.A., I don't know if you heard about this or you've been there, but L.A., just to be different, they opened up a gay western bar. You know, with mechanical sheep and all that. One thing that's different for me out here is it's a little slow for me, and uh, I need everything fast. I'm in the speed. Everything's got to be fast, move fast. Like that French train. How about that train they have? Why didn't we invent it so I could ride on it? Did you see that French train? 236 miles an hour. Did you see it on television? 236 an hour. Whoa! You know how you can tell the hobos in France? They're the guys without arms. <laughs> Missed it again. buy a cured ham and wonder what it had? <laughs> you know what else I wonder about? You ever wonder about this? How come hot dogs come in packages of 10 and hot dog rolls come in packages of 8? <laughs> Would you ever wonder about this? I mean, America's the greatest in technology, right? We send men up to the moon, they eat lunch, come down, get some ketchup, they go back up again. <laughs> we can do everything, right? Well, how come when you go in a supermarket, and maybe this is just me, because it is true, I have trouble with mechanical things. It, it runs in my family. If we buy anything with more than two moving parts, it breaks. Uh, no, I'm serious. Like, a couple of weeks ago, I bought a hair blower. It sucks. <laughs> When you go into a supermarket and you get a shopping cart, in this country, we do everything. We get a shopping cart. The wheels always go sideways. <laughs> Until you get outside. The minute you let go to open the trunk of your car, <laughs> and there your food is in Oklahoma. God, I hate that. You know what else I hate? You know what else I hate? I hate, and there are things I really, I hate going to the doctor, especially when he puts on that rubber glove. Because you know, in a moment, you're going to know exactly what a puppet feels like. You know what else I hate? The guarantees on food. They always tell you on the food, guaranteed satisfaction. If you don't like it, Send back the unused portion. You know what you should do? Send back the used portion. That's the part you didn't like, right? 
You know what else I hate? When you go into a restaurant and you order like shrimp or lobster and they bring it to you with the hands on it and the hat and the glasses and the... Why? When you get a steak, they don't have a hoof hanging off of it. I saw a great sign in a restaurant in New York. I love dumb signs. In a restaurant in New York City, it was a big sign on the wall. For a bathroom, use staircase. <laughs> and in New York, they will. You know, they... There's a great dumb sign out here. You can go see it. It's still here because I checked it out. The dumbest sign I've ever seen. I had to look at this sign for five minutes. On the door in Los Angeles, on the door of the International House of Pancakes. Aren't you glad they finally went international? <laughs> you really think they're international? When do you think if next week you go to Paris, pardon, monsieur, Oué Pancake International. <laughs> Blueberry, ooh, please. All right, on the door of the International House of Pancakes leading into the restaurant, they have a sign. We have menus in Braille. I told the manager, I said, why don't you make it bigger in case they're across the street? <laughs> Thanks a lot, everyone.